Coming up next, it's a light heavyweight matchup between The Boss and Tito Ortiz. Well, he is one of the more polarizing athletes on this roster. The former UFC light heavyweight champion, Tito Ortiz, draws rave reviews for his coachability, physically and mentally tough, and he puts a pace on fighters that few guys are able to match. So let's see what Tito Ortiz has left as he gets ready for another showcase fight here tonight. Tito Ortiz combined excellent wrestling, ridiculous cardio, and a ruthless ground and pound game to make him one of the true legends in the world of mixed martial arts. So here he is, the UFC president, Dana White. No shortage of call-outs, as you might expect, since he announced his intentions to compete inside the octagon. And this is really a fighter who brings a lot of different skills to the table. Certainly, he is known as a boxing stylist, very heavy hands, pretty good takedown defense. He is an improving grappler. But I think what jumps off the page for me is the cardio. The stamina for Dana White has been there thus far. It figures to be tested in this matchup here tonight. This guy is a boxer. Look for him to utilize a technical jab and a devastating right hand left hook combination to try to get the victory with boxing skill. And now our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with similar height and reach. All right, now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it is time! Five rounds in the UFC Light Heavyweight Division. It's a DC first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 16 wins, five losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Huntington Beach, California, USA, Tito Ortiz! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Dana Wise. All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. The fighters touch gloves. Are you ready? Let's go. We are underway. So once again, all eyes on the boss man, UFC President Dana White. I know the opponent was saying all week, the boss is going to catch these hands. Be careful what you wish for. If you choose to stand on a napkin in the center of the octagon against Dana White, you're likely going to be on the wrong end of the boxing equation. He also has shown an improved cardio game as well. So prevailing wisdom is if you're going to beat Dana White, you have to find a way to take him down. Nicely done early here with the takedown. And now is where things could get really interesting. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Effective punch there by Tito. That one hurt. Dana White gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Ortiz. Wow, what a back-and-forth exchange. 
Almost hits him with that left hook. Well-timed kick there, Joe. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Oh, nice strike landed there by Tito. Oh! The combinations are flowing. Well, he leaned right into that hook shot, Joe, and that is certainly something that bears watching here moving forward. I know he's confident in his chin, but he's a sitting duck there walking right into the pocket to absorb that hook. He's got the back and he's locked both hooks in. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. Oh, we caught him with that right hand. In half guard now. Oh, mount! Nice punch there by UFC President Dana White. Back in the mount, this is crazy. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Hip escape, gets out of the full mount. Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Orthodox for much of the fight. He's going southpaw here, Joe. That kick blocked by Tito. Oh, that is as good a jab as you will see. Oh, that's some wrestling right there. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. 20 seconds to go in round one. Side control again. Oh, round two straight ahead. Oh, oh, oh. Here's a big leg kick. Here's a nasty kick to the body. There's a powerful kick to the body. Lots of action in that round. Ariane Celeste on hand. Round two underway. Oh, Clock that offering there and then counters beautifully with a leg kick. Nice job by UFC President Dana White. And he connects there. Now he goes for the single leg. Nice punch by Dana White. Tito gets in the clinch yet again. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Oh, you got Man has his chin been tested early. Big punches. for the victory. Yeah, Joe, that one is going to be hard to top when it comes to handing out performance bonuses late in the night. A huge kick for the knockout victory, and he couldn't have caught him much more flush. Full force, full extension, and you knew if he connected with that weapon at one point in this fight, it was going to spell the end of the night for his opponent. Mission accomplished right there. Here it is from another angle. Watch this again here. Boom. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki's called a stop to this contest. At one minute, four seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by... Well, how about the performance tonight out of the UFC president, Dana White? You know, everybody wants to get a crack at the boss. You got to be careful what you wish for. You stand and trade with Dana White more often than not, he's going to make you pay. And that was certainly the case in this one tonight. Congratulations to Dana White on the big UFC win.